Hello everybody and welcome back to New Farm Cookery School for another edition of Flavours of New Farm. I'm Jeff, this is Chris. Hello. Uh, and today we're going to be doing a very seasonal springy type dish. Uh, we're going to be using as one of the main features of the dish um, some local Staffordshire asparagus. We're going to griddle that asparagus with some salmon, some beautiful salmon. Um, we're going to be used, doing a salsa uh, with avocado, lemon, tomato, and we're going to be using this, that sea asparagus or samphire. So really the dish is with two sorts of asparagus, the sea asparagus and the seasonal Staffordshire asparagus. Okay, to finish the dish off, what we're going to do, I've pre-poached some little hen's eggs there and they're still soft in the middle and I'm going to pané those, in other words egg and breadcrumb them and in my breadcrumbs I've got some a little bit of curry spice just to add a little bit of something to it. I'm going to pané those eggs, deep fry them and then the soft deep fried eggs are going to go on top of the salmon so that when you cut the egg in two the yolk is going to roll out and form part of the dressing. Okay? Brilliant. That's what we're doing. Chris is going to crack on with the with the dressing or the salsa. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, if you could just briefly talk about what you're going to do with your ingredients, Chris, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, we're going to uh, just going to split the other part down as so. Uh, just we only need the half, so just stay about there. And uh, we'll uh, scoop in the other part of it. Beautiful. Nice and ripe. You must ripen them. Buy them in advance and get them soft. Yeah, they'd, they'd be difficult to get out of the skin. I would imagine if they were if they were no. not ripe. Yeah, no, it didn't taste. Good. Didn't taste good. No, a no. bit soapy, would I suppose? Yeah. So what are you going to do so with that, Chris? To, uh, just uh, dice this. Yeah. Through. Dice the flesh up. Yeah. Dice yeah. the flesh from the thing. Yeah. Are this a bit of two portions, Chris, probably with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. A very good feel of the card. It's a very healthy dish, actually, this. Yeah. We don't use avocados enough, though, right? there. No, no. Yeah. I, I like them myself. Yeah. Mm. So, guacamole. Mmm. Base. So while you're cracking on with the with the salsa, yeah. I'm just going to pané or breadcrumb the soft poached eggs. So I take them. What I've done, I've taken a lot of moisture out of the eggs by just putting a little bit of paper towel under the eggs just to take take away the excess moisture. Then they go in the flour. You have to be quite gentle with these because they are soft poached eggs. If you're too rough with them, then they're going to burst open. So nice and gentle. They're quite manageable though. So what are you going to add to yours now? Some yeah, lemon juice? lemon juice to prevent it going so, uh, oxidising. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. And the flavour works really well. Brilliant. And lemon and avocado go really well. Yeah, out. brilliant. Good marriage there. I'm just shaking off my excess flour. Then into the eggs. And make sure you thoroughly coat the eggs in the flour, the egg, and then the breadcrumb. So there's no spaces or gaps on the egg. Beautiful colour on these eggs. These from your farm, Chris? Yeah, they're off the farm, those aren't they? Yeah, Beautiful. Neighbours farm, actually, just down the road. Into the breadcrumbs. Now what I'm going to do, before I start rubbing the breadcrumbs through, I'm going to wash my eggy bits off my hands. Excuse my back. Yeah. I'm just going to dry the tomatoes, which have been blanched and de-seeded. Fantastic. Through the breadcrumbs. Now this is something you think, oh that, you know, for you at home looking at this thinking, oh that's a complicated dish. It's not really. I mean, I'm using a griddle pan. You could use an ordinary frying pan or a sauté pan or a non-stick skillet pan. It's up to you. Um, what I would do, I'd like to mention before I start griddling my asparagus and, uh, and salmon, is that it's advisable to kind of oil 
oil your products before you put them on the griddle rather than oil the griddle. If we oil the griddle then it's probably going to create a lot of smoke. So just a little bit of olive oil on the asparagus, on the salmon before we put them onto the hot griddle. Um, this asparagus, all I've done is taken the woody part off the bottom. There's a natural snapping point on the asparagus. So if you take the asparagus, the woody bit will naturally just come away. Left with that, and all I've done is shave that stem with a potato peeler, a veg peeler. That's it. I've not blanched them because I don't want to overcook the asparagus. I want this asparagus to still be nice and crispy. Okay, so where are we up to the moment? I'm just going to clear these bits away, which we don't need. Over there, quick wash of the hands again. I'm just going to what are you doing there, Chris? The samphire. Okay. It's been rinsed to get. Yeah, it's very salty, isn't it? Yeah. So, so yeah. it's been rinsed to. So, so this this salt. grows along the seashore, doesn't it? Right by the sea. Yeah. Goes along yeah. the rocks. And they actually farm it now, don't they? They actually they farm, farm it now, yeah. yeah. So they sort of it's beautiful. Tear this. Beautiful. Mm. Not too salt. Too we'll have to be very though. careful how much salt, or probably not yeah. any salt, in that yeah, because this will be a season now. Got salt in the shop. What I'm going to do at this stage. I preheated my griddle, if I were you I wouldn't touch it, but it's quite warm now. I don't want it too hot, if we have it too hot it's going to burn the salmon and the asparagus before it's cooked. All right. So, what I've done, I've got one piece of salmon, plain, just plain, nothing on it at all, just a little bit of oil, and that's going to go on there. Okay. I've got another piece of salmon, which I've wrapped in pancetta. Right? Some smoked pancetta. Just as a kind of a, uh, a, a little bit of a variety, yeah? There you go. There you go. That's it. Get that baby on. Right. That's it. Fantastic. Asparagus. On the side. And the aim is <coughs> to try and bar mark the salmon, especially the plain one, so it's got a nice crisscross pattern on it, okay? So I think three pieces of asparagus for each portion, like so. A little bit of salt. I'm not going to put salt on the pancetta one because it's going to be too salty. A little bit of salt on the salmon. Can you see it's butter? Sorry, the stackage of asparagus. And also a little bit of pepper. Okay, and I'll season both sides. Now, when we cook, this won't take long to cook. It happens mm. very, very quickly. Yeah. And you can see, as your fish is cooking, it goes paler. It's getting paler from the bottom up. So we can kind of gauge how far it's cooked. Yeah. By watching that paleness rise up the salmon. Yeah, I can see it cooking. Yeah. You can see yeah. it cooking there. It's, in, it's spot not to move it, isn't it? No. The salmon needs to seal. Needs to seal, let it settle. Don't try and turn it over too early. Otherwise, it would probably break up. Yeah. So your salsa is ready. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. Uh, uh, salsa's brilliant. Brilliant. Salad. Salad. Yeah. Shall we get some oil over? And I'm going to start deep frying these eggs. Okay. Yeah. Let me try it. The plain one. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is where we have to be very careful. Um, very, very gentle with it. Give it a little bit longer. Turn our spiders over. You see how that's starting to colour? Get some ball marks on it. Yeah. Put that over there. Nothing better than kind of that flavour of the, and a, you know, the charred kind of grill, charred, so, yeah. the charred flavour, yeah. Then turn that one over. I'm just going to turn that that way to try and get a bar mark on that piece. Temperature mm. of the oil chef. We're looking for what, about 170, 180? Yeah. It's Be careful if you're using uh, oil in a pan on the stove at home. 
If you've got a deep fry electric kit, deep fat fry, which has got a thermostat on it, it's always a lot better. Why? Because you have to watch the temperature. You can't really get that up over 180 degrees because it, you know, you don't have any accidents at home. There goes another little turn. Now I'm going to turn that over. There you are. You can see now, <coughs> on there, you can see the sound is still a little bit pink in the middle, right? What we want to try and do, we don't want to overcook this fish, so just before it's cooked, I'm going to take it off the, off the griddle pan, on the plate, it needs to rest for about 30 seconds before we actually plate that up. I think we can go with our eggs there, Chris. Yeah, yeah, you want to put those yeah. on? Um, nothing worse than overcooked fish. Uh, we want it just to be cooked. Fish is, you know, is, is very critical. That one, that piece is there. So I'm going to rest that piece. This one is going to take a little bit longer because it's got the pancetta on it. Right. Fantastic. Beautiful. And you see with the asparagus, I'm not burning them to death. I'm lightly charring them. That's what I want. I still want those asparagus to be have a little bit of crunch. If we overcook the asparagus, it's going to go soggy. It's going to be horrible. You're going to lose the vitamins. You're going to lose the colour. So a little bit of salt just on the asparagus, not on the salad. And that is going to come off to rest. Again, no, I'm not going to give it another 20 seconds. Do you want to pop those eggs in? Yeah, pop, the pop the eggs in now if we're ready. Brilliant. Looks complicated, it's not. It's not really, really, you, you know, if, as long as you've got everything prepared beforehand, be careful when you poach your eggs, you don't overcook them, get them too hard. Pane them, breadcrumbs. Um, make sure you, you, you know, be safe with your oil. Don't, you know. If you've got an electric fryer, use it. I mean, but be careful if you're going to do it in a pan. So that's going to come off now to rest. Okay, on the plate. So we've got both salmon, one with pancetta, one without. These asparagus are nearly there. And you can see kind of to what degree I've done those. Yeah, for me, these eggs are out, yeah. Yeah, if you want to put those, Back in this, on, on the board, oh, on the board there, Chef, yeah. just to rest for a little bit more. I'll get some plates. <clears throat> we'll get rid of this hot oil. Down yep. over here. Oh, yeah, there, yeah. Chef. Okay. Okay. Over there, keep it safe. Now, to dress the plates. <clears throat> Turn that off. So we've got our salmon just resting. Asparagus turn the heat off now. And we're going to dress the plates. And look at that, beautiful. Yeah? And as I say at home, if you've got one of those little non stick skillets, even better, it means your salmon's not going to stick. Job done. So, what I'm going to do, first of all, is take this asparagus. I'm using two different sorts of plates here. Just a little bit of variety. Take this asparagus off. Like so. Okay. Salmon. This is rested now, which means that the salmon, because when you take the salmon off the griddle, if you take it off just before it's cooked, then that so during that resting process, it's still going to carry on cooking. So we're just finishing off the cooking while it's resting. Just finish off the cooking while it's resting. So on that one, I'm going to put the piece of salmon with pancetta. And on this one. I'm going to put the plain salmon. Okay. Right, Chris, if you want to just maybe a little touch of olive oil yep, in there. there. Yep. Just a little drizzle, just a to bind it together. Black. A little bit of pepper, yeah, because you don't need salt because of the yeah. salt in the, in the samphire. If you just want to kind of dot either side of that with a few bits few yep. of that dressing. Couple of quenelle type things or little stacks of that, fantastic. Very attractive dish as well, I think. This, you know? yeah, and that's unusual salsa. Yeah, really. And you've got, you know, you've got the crispness of the asparagus, you've got the softness of the salmon, 
the saltiness of the of the sea asparagus, the kind of nuttiness of the of the avocado. So that's fine. That's brilliant. So I think that's enough to do. Really. Yeah. Then the idea being these little beautiful eggs should should still be soft in the middle. So that one goes on there. Okay, that one goes on there. And do you know, kind of, um, the idea behind the dish is that when we cut into those eggs, the yolk should be soft, that's going to drizzle down and kind of form part of the dressing of the dish. Okay? So, would you like the honour of cutting into yeah, the eggs? Yes, yeah. go for right. it. Look at oh, that. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. That's fine. That's super. Look at that. The farmer would be proud of that. I think so. I think so. I think that's a beautiful little spring dish. Healthy. We're using local ingredients wherever possible. And I think, you know, that, that's perfectly achievable for you guys at home. Um, you could do that for a dinner party for your guests, as long as you're prepared and you've got your preparation done. How long did it take to cook it? It doesn't take long. Okay. Yeah, really Should I cut this one, Chef, the other yeah. Okay, let's just bubble bum and happy with that chef, happy with that. Let's turn it round so you can see the, the yolk a bit. All right, I don't know about you chef, but um, I'm happy with that. Dish, I yeah. Chuck into yeah. that. Yeah, really. Um, guys, it's that simple, it's that quick. You know, we really enjoy um, doing our dishes for you, doing our food. Um, hopefully you enjoy it and we both look forward to the next time we meet. Thank you very much. Thank you.